Hello my darlings, welcome, I am C and this is CJ DIY. Today I got beautiful spring home decor collection for you and I'm going to show you how easily I made all this beautiful home decor for less than $25. Galvanized tray that I purchased from Hobby Lobby last year on 90% clearance. Original was $27.99 and I only paid a couple of dollars for it, not more than three or four dollars. I'm gonna paint it over with a Dixie Bell mineral paint and I'm gonna paint the edges and outside i'm just gonna do a heavy distressing because i would like to leave that galvanized wipe on it now that it's all nice and dry i'm gonna use redesign the prima transfers i got this one long time ago and I'm gonna place it on my tray. And I think this is such a beautiful tray for coming up spring decor. We can serve a tea, coffee, or we can use it just as a beautiful decorative piece in our house. I'm going over with a scraper until the whole transfer is fully on my tray i want to make sure all those beautiful details from this transfer are on the tray and all these beautiful flowers the links from all my products today that i've been using are in my description box so if you're interested you can purchase them so now when my transfer is on i'm gonna make sure every little detail is on i'm just gonna rub on from the sheet that it was on make sure it's all nice and smooth and look how beautiful it look you gotta let me know what do you think to seal the tray and the transfer i'm gonna be using a glaze glaze is something similar like a clear wax or like a white wax and i really love it because it gives a special detail on our products when we use paint on them so i'm just going over with a brush and i make sure every part of this tray is caught with this glaze and after that i'm just gonna wipe it off with a towel and that's it for this diy you gotta let me know what do you think Today I'm so happy that I'm a part of another 5 under 5 challenge hosted by my darling friends Emily and Missy, Farm Charm Chic Emily, Crafty Cove Missy and this month guest host is Kendra from Late Night Creations. All these ladies, super talented creators, my darling friends and if you haven't visited their channels by now, please do so. All the links will be in my description box along with the amazing playlist with so many talented creators. And after you're done watching my video, you know where you're going next. I thrifted this metal wall pocket and I only paid $3 and some change for it. 
so after i remove the price tag i'm gonna clean it off and then i'm gonna give a good two coats of mineral dixie bell as well when it's nice and dry i'm gonna be using the new collection of redesigned prima transfers for spring and i just choose one sticker and i'm gonna apply it in front of the wall pocket all those redesigned the prima transfers i got from vintage design b uh, i'm gonna have a link uh, in my description box and i am in love with this collection and i think when we add those rabbon transfers it gives such a high-end look to any piece that we make so i'm just going over with a scraper and make sure everything will be nice and smoothly on the metal wall pocket and that's it for this diy simple beautiful and very easy i put the handle back because i removed it when i was painting it and also i seal it with the glaze that i'm in love with i got that glaze from my local store i wish i could have bought more because it's so good so i'm applying on it i'm using a towel i added some flowers and look how beautiful it looks such a high-end look just for a couple of dollars For the next DIY, I'm going to be using those candle holders from Dollar Tree and I'm going to paint them with a mineral Dixie Bell paint. Two good coats, I'm going to let them dry and when they're dry, that's how they came up looking. Also, I'm going to be adding these Dollar Tree Robin transfers. I just cut off a portion of it and I'm going to put them on the bottom of my holder. So that's how my candle holder is going to have such a beautiful high-end look. Candle holders like this at the high-end stores, such as Kirkland or Pottery Barn, are going up for like $30, $40 an hour. is going to cost only $2.50. Such a beautiful transformation. You got to let me know what do you think. And as our previous transfers, I only use a scraper, make sure the whole rub on is on my candle holder. And I just rub off with that surface. And now I'm doing the same thing on my second holder. Just a portion of those rub on transfer stickers from Dollar Tree. And that's it for this DIY. Super easy and quick DIY. Also, I'm um, adding a glaze for sealing and for extra gloss and protection and that's it For DIY number four, I'm using another Hobby Lobby frame. I got it for $3.49 for clearance. I'm going to be adding tape around the edges so I can paint the middle part of my sign with the same Dixie Bell mineral paint. Now that everything is covered, I'm using two good coats of a Dixie Bell mineral paint. I'm going around the edges, make sure I cover all that previous sign. And we also gonna add some beautiful 
embellishment in this sign. I left the frame like it is white because I wanted to go with that neutral, beautiful, clean look. And I hope I give you an idea for you to start creating for spring or Easter. And now when it's all nice and dry, I'm removing the tape. I'm sorry, it's too light that you cannot see. But simple, just removing the tape. Another transfer from the, the Prima transfers. And I want to see which one of those beautiful prints going to look the best in my frame. So I'm going all over. So those transfers are like $19.99, but look how many of them are they. So they're not even coming a dollar each from all those stickers. I call them stickers, but they're transfers. So it's a very good deal. And beautiful home decor can be made with all those transfers. So when I choose the one that I like, I'm going to apply it right in the middle, same way like I did for my previous DIYs and that's it today I got super easy DIYs but I really love how they all turn out And of course, nothing without my glaze to seal it and make it stay there permanently. Rub it off with a towel and that's it. And I am in love with this one. And for my last DIY today, I found this beautiful vintage container and it's so cute. I only paid $1.99 for it. To give an extra detail and make it look more newer, I'm just doing a heavy distressing with the same mineral Dixie Belle paint. And going over with a brush through all those details. I am in love with this piece can be such a beautiful decorative detail for spring and Easter, not even spring and Easter, everyday decor. I'm doing the same thing for the container. I don't know if you can see, but there is so many details, 3D details on it. I am in love with this piece and such a good idea to go to thrift store, buy something old and make it look very nice, give it for a gift, sell it out, or put it in your home as a decorative piece. And here how it all came out. Of course, I'm gonna add a glaze to seal it too. And that's it, super simple, but such a beautiful look. And my darlings, I'm gonna let you finish watching my final reveal. I took a beautiful final reveal video for you. And don't forget to check out the amazing playlist. And Emily, Missy, and Kendra, thank you ladies for another amazing month. I love you. And my darlings, until next time, I got super cute video coming up for you guys. I'm sending you lots of love, lots of music, positive energy, blessings from me to you. Bye-bye!